game series adapts to the choices you make. The story is tailored to how you play. Just the way I like it. Once upon a time in New York City, there lived a community of fairy tale characters known as Fable Town. The fables who lived there arrived hundreds of years ago after they were exiled from their homelands. Through the use of a magic spell called Glamour, they have protected their secret community from the mundane world. Sheriff Bigby Wolf protects them from each other. It, a record for the date, hottest ever in June, uh, 103 now, that humidity looks low, but remember, the hotter the air is, the more moisture it can hold. So 103 with 31% humidity is a lot more humid than, say, 73 with 31% humidity. And it is muggy out there. Baby, let's go. Damn, I'm good looking. Tenement building, South Bronx, sometime after midnight. Mr. Toad? Oh, shit. Big B! Listen, mate, I, I know I don't look human. It's a problem, I get it. I just stepped out the apartment for just a second to see what kind of damage this drunk shit is doing. Just cut me a break, yeah? I'll get me glamour first thing in the morning. Cross my arm. No need to kick up a fuss. All right. Look, no harm done. I'll give you a pass, but listen. If you can't afford to look human, you're going to the farm. It's as simple as that. You can't send me up to live with those animals. You know what I mean. Go see a witch. Get a glamour. Big B, they're bleeding me dry, mate. The quality of the spout goes down, but the rates keep climbing up. Do you have any idea how much it costs to have an entire family in glamour? Get it then fixed. Get it fixed. It's not complicated, Toad. Whatever it costs, it's worth it. You don't want me catching you out of glamour again. Fuck you now! See? This is what I told you about, Sheriff. You're just gonna stand there, do something, Big B, before he completely tears up the place. And what exactly do you want me to do? I want you to throw the fucking woodsman out of here, drunk shit. He's been going on like that for hours. Turn this place to dust if you let him. He's in a fucking rage. <laughs> this is the last straw, Big B. He has to go. Why is he so pissed? So what set him off? Who knows why it was this time? Man's got a hair trigger. I avoid him as much as possible. When did he start drinking? Not sure he ever stopped. Fuck you! I didn't know anyone else was up there. Toad, get it together, man. Furry prick job shite. Tell me how to spend my money. The lights are shaking again. What did I say? You want a big bad wolf to take you away? No. Then get that fuck back inside. Oh boy. Oh, already not particularly fond of Toad. You're gonna know who I fucking am, you hear me? Hey, look at me. Let's go. All right, I don't know. God, I mean, do I have you? Do I even have a weapon? I feel like I need some kind of weapon. Take a look. Take a good look. You know who I am now? Hey, look at me. Get off of me. Yeah! 
Whoa, 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 whoa. All right, we're going to try to knock. What's up, DJ? God damn you! Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, hey! You've got something on your face. Fuck are you talking about, you stupid... <laughs> I'll fucking kill you! You fucker! All right, what's going on? Here? Oh shit! What are you gonna fucking do, huh? Get the fuck out of the way before you get the axe again. Must stay silent. I know there were going to be quick time events in this. Back off, asshole. Get out of here. Fable he is. I don't want to put him over by her. Oh shit. My keyboard. God damn. You should probably get out of here. Look, I'm not leaving until I get what's mine. You're not getting shit, bitch. She a prostitute? Put you on the ground. You hear me? Hey, if you can't be nice, I'm gonna make you wait outside. Oh, fucking shit. You bogged my jaw, you bastard! And still you talk. Fuck you. Shit. What the hell is going on? What happened? A little misunderstanding that turned into a real shit show. Don't worry, you saw the best bits. There's more where Dang, I her first rodeo. Girly. Knock it off! Look, this is just the start of a shitty night for me. I just need the money he owes me, then I can go. Must stay silent. Come on, let's get this over with. Are you all right? I'm hunky dory. Thanks for asking. Why was he hitting you? He asked me if I recognized him, knew who he was. Oh, is that Beast? I said I didn't. He started beating on me. Then you showed up, started beating on him. That about cover it, hun? I'm the watchman, you whore. I saved Little Red Riding Hood from this monster. I cut this fucker open and filled his belly full of <laughs> stones oh. and threw him in the fucking river. That's who the fuck I am, you stupid bitch. Hey, what did I say? I said be nice or you wait out. <laughs> Come on. Good God, that's not what I was expecting was going to happen. Oh, shit. Yikes. Hey, Toad. My car. Yeah. <clears throat> Give me a second. 
Oh, no, by all means. Take your time. Make yourself comfortable. Can I get you anything? Pillow, perhaps? Well, at least you're not fucking dead. Are you serious? I don't want to kill him, but at this point, it kind of feels like I'm going to have to. Oh my god, this is killing me. Fight. 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 Oh my god. Holy shit, I was not expecting this game to be like this. How is he? What the? F what are you doing? I'm just getting what he owes me. You all right back there? I mean, your eyes and the teeth. You're not really supposed to do that, are you? Not if I can avoid it. Great. The guy's got an axe in his brain. He's not feeling that. It's more for me. He'll be. I'll kill you, you fucking bitch. Let me help you. <laughs> He's had enough. He's a fable. Son of a bitch can take plenty. What the? <laughs> Just come on. Here. Thanks. Lips are sealed. Sorry. Hey, you like my ribbon? Sure. Beautiful. Thank you. Let's see. Feel like we've met before. We probably What's going on with her ring? We all sort of knew each other at one point or another. But things change, I guess. I guess. Shit. Stop. We don't have to make any more of a thing out of it than it already is. He hit you. He needs to pay for that. He's got nothing to give, Sheriff, I checked. Besides, I just swung an axe into the guy's head. I'd say we're even. Maybe I should be arresting you. I'm not going to be doing this for much longer. So, now's your chance. Huh. How much was it he owed you? A hundred. I'm guessing it'd be bad for you to show up empty handed. I'll be fine. Let's see, I've got uh it's twenty, forty, seven, eight, fifty eight. It's all I got. Uh, it'll help, right? Take it. It's okay. 
I'll be fine. You've done enough, really. Just take the money, okay? You got me out of a bad situation back there. Thanks. I'm still gonna need a statement. I have to go drop off what I have. Meet me back at my office, then. It's a little late for an office visit, Sheriff. I'll swing by your apartment. How do you know where you I am? You live in the smallest apartment in the woodlands. Everyone knows that. Good to know. You should get cleaned up. You look like shit. She's quite and evasive. I don't use that term lightly. Some of these look pretty bad. That's gonna leave a mark. Or maybe not. Hey. I need to tell you something. What is it? You're not as bad as everyone says you are. What? I'll see you around, Wolf. That was a very weird beginning. That is not even close to what I thought the tone of this game was going to be. Like, I st I'm like baffled. What's up, Nyx? But yeah, Chico, you this never is kind of surprising. Up, do you? Good. Didion, thank you for that 11 months, man. Appreciate you. Well, you're in luck, Gappy. Because we're about to see more of it. What's up, Red Panda? The Woodland Luxury Apartments. Late. Not sure if you caught this, but to answer your question about the job I'm doing, I'm in client support with addicted youth and those with autism who can't live in their family. Nice, Space Cat. Thank you for what you do. That's that's awesome. I hope you're enjoying it. Luxury apartments. Wish they wouldn't advertise. No, I understand, Chico. It's a little violent, I think, even for me a bit, but we'll see. I didn't realize I was going to need to probably put some disclaimers on this. Stay off the grass. Okay. I will say the game's beautiful. The art direction of this game is absolutely gorgeous. Who that? Over in the grass where you're not supposed to be. Come on out. Hey, Uncle Bill. All right. All right. Hello, Big B. I wasn't expecting anyone. I know this looks a little odd, but there's an explanation. Why'd you hide when I walked up? Well, I didn't know who it was. You can't be too careful these days. No, you can't. Damn it, I'm late. Please, Big B. Promise me you won't oh, tell Beast. Oh, it's Beauty from Beauty and the Beast. 
he worries too much as it is, and just, it would just make my life a lot easier. I'm staying out just, of it. No triangulation. Please. Look, whatever it is, it's between you and Beast. I'm staying out of it. I don't have time to go into it right now. They didn't really I'll ask you to. Explain it all to you later. I will, but I have to go. It's not what you might be thinking. I'm not entirely sure what I'm thinking. I don't know what their history is to know what that even is. Hence why I detriangulated myself. I'm not getting in I'm not getting involved in that. Go check the mail. I got any mail? Been a while since I got any mail. Seventh day in a row. Who lives in my building? Mr. and Mrs. Beast. <laughs> storage, storage, storage. What is it? Just me, Beauty and the Beast, and storage? So it would seem. Well, you know that I care to wake up the guard. But nothing hurts but looking at Hmm. I don't know that I want to wake him up. I don't really have any reason to wake him up, so whatever. I'm just going to go to my room. It's been a long night. He's got great hair. Maybe my hair will look like that someday. Who that? That beast? Bigby. Hey, wait up. Have you seen my wife? Have you seen Beauty? So, have you? I'm staying out of it. Out of what? Whatever it is, Beast. I'm not a marriage counselor. But I am. Damn it. Something's going on. <laughs> I ain't getting pulled into that shit. I'm off the clock. I ain't getting into Beauty and Beast affairs. This is all about me. The wolf. Big B's apartment. Don't call me. Okay. That's right, Doc, Dr. Milkman. What a night. What a night is right. Why don't we go ahead and get a little something to eat, eh? Some Why huff and puff. Damn it. Refill the ice, man. Clearly, I don't do a very good job taking care of myself or my space. Based on even his... So, based on the fact that he doesn't have food in the fridge and that I don't have... And that, obviously, my apartment is not kept up very well. It does make me wonder, perhaps, if I am working off of some template of depression.
What the hell? What is that? Why on earth is there a pig sitting on my couch? Colin. Sign. Colin, I'll bet Colin ordered it. What the hell is Colin doing here? Let's go ahead and turn this on. Should help. No wonder it smells nasty in here. I don't want. I mean, clearly, I'm not phased by the fact that he's in here. So I, I obviously know who he is. So I'm just gonna go do my thing. Bluebeard's file. Who's Bluebeard? I never trusted this guy. Oh, I guess maybe I have to. All right. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna creepily stare at him for a second. Is he? That'd be weird. Got a smoke? Unwritten code of smokers. Always got a smoke for you. Thanks. A couple thousand more of these will be even on that house you owe me. <laughs> this has got to stop. You can't keep sneaking off the farm like this. That's got, yeah, the that's definitely got to be one of the sunshine pitch they pigs. sell you on is bullshit. I didn't escape out of the homelands to end up in some prison, okay? Don't send me back there, Big B. You don't know what it's like, okay? You haven't been there. Don't be a pain in the ass. I'll tell you what I told Toad. And what's that? Get a glamour or go up to the farm. It's not complicated, Colin. Lectured by the big bad wolf. He must have loved that. That for me? Nope. The house didn't blow itself down, Bigby. That's all I'm saying. Do with that what you will. Now, I'm not saying it's reason enough for me to have definitely been offered a drink, but uh, it would have helped ease some of the pain you once caused me, yes? It also would have shown everyone how different you are now. Nice. I take it all back. This is why everyone hates you. So, everyone hates me. Nah, I'm just giving you shit. I'm doing my best here. Clearly that is not true. What with the selfishness with the bourbon. But, uh, no. Um, hate's the wrong word. They fear you more than anything. You ate a lot of people back in your day. I thought we were all supposed to have a fresh start here. I can't change the past. Well, you can't change people's memories either. Not a bad point. Look, I'm not saying it's fair. But it's real. People are scared of you. I mean, look at your hands. Who'd you get in a fight with? A fable, right? I'm sure you're not going around punching Mondays. Wasn't my fault. I get the impression you say that a lot. You think my job is easy? You try keeping a bunch of fables from killing each other. How do you think this all works? I don't know. How? By being big and being bad. By being big, being <laughs> bad. Don't say that shit in front of people. It's embarrassing. <laughs> that 
that's the attitude that gets you in trouble. Yeah, he's I'm clearly sure you somebody you have to shoot straight with. across tonight. Not everyone. Name one. Uh, I don't actually know her name. Awesome. Great example. Well, you could explain a little more, Wolf. Life is easier with friends, Bigby. And we live a long fucking time. I know you like this whole lone wolf thing you got going for yourself, but I've seen the way you look at snow, okay? You're not fooling me. Will you shut up? Well, maybe if my throat wasn't so parched, I wouldn't have to keep talking. <laughs> Wait, that doesn't make sense. Just give sense. me a drink, please. Colin, enough already. I haven't slept in two days. I went out a second story window, and I want to get in two seconds of shut eye before I... Look, if I give you this, you let me sleep? Yeah, yeah, all right. Probably. Making an effort. Thanks, Big B. All right, all right. Wait a minute, where's Colin? Holy crap, I hope none of you ever do that. Big B. Snow? Come with me. Snow. Snow is in Snow White? Snow. What? Sorry, I'm... What is it? Where are we going? Out in front of the building. We have to get there. Can you please be less Bye. cryptic? Hello. Good morning. Or evening. <laughs> yeah. These walls are paper thin. We need to be careful. We'll talk outside. I got a bad feeling about this one. All right, those of you that have never played this before, what do you think I'm about to grab? I have absolutely no idea why, like what the significance of this is. I have a sense I have a sense that this is like covering something up. Like there's going to be like a blood stain or something. Although I'm curious to know how she, like how she got a security jacket. Small critter jump scare. Yeah, it's just something tells me shit's about to go down. Let's see. He looks quite worried. What? No. You knew this girl? Is... She's not a Mundy, right? Who was she? Whoa. I thought I knew everyone in Faith Town. She looks familiar. I can't place her though. Just stay pensive here. I 
feel like there's something you're not telling me. Woodsman. He attacked her and I stepped in. And he threatened to kill us both. No. You don't think he... I don't think anything yet. Just give me a second. It's just... terrible. So, who found her? I did. She was just like this. I didn't touch her. I grabbed Grimble's jacket to cover her with. Then, I came to get you right away. No one else was with you? No. Big P, did one of... us? This? There hasn't been a murder in Fayette. How am I supposed to know the answer to that? All the more reason we shouldn't start a panic before we know what's going on. Was the girl's ribbon on her neck still? Look around. We don't have much time before people will be coming through here. Hopefully I can look at it again. No. Oof. Hey Hoffman. Did this to her. Gore warning. What could do something like that? Either something very sharp or something with magic attached to it. What's what in your mouth? It's a ribbon. With the ring on it. Some kind of symbol here. Hmm. Hey, Victoria. I, I don't recognize it. Neither do I. She was placed here with some care. What do you mean? You like can placed here for a reason? Just toss her here. She was deliberately placed for us to find. What kind of monster would do this? Sorry, this is just so surreal. Night Hoffman, thanks for stopping by and saying hey, dude. Um, what, what do you want to do next? We still have some time. I should keep investigating the area. Okay, good idea. Hey, Barry. <sighs> okay, so, oh, okay, there we go. You can walk around. Not gonna talk to Snow. Where did I see it? Was the blood in the other direction? I think, yeah, the blood, I think the blood was in the other direction, so I need to go this way. Oh my God, doing this with a mouse and keyboard is awful. Blood, drops of blood. Say it's been here an hour, maybe. Snow seems worried, but interestingly unfazed. Fabric looks like jeans. Doesn't tell me much. I don't. Does some loose trash. Wait a minute, there was some huff and puff in there, though. Oh, there's blood up here. Blood. Still wet. There's no body. Sharp enough. Yep, more blood. Someone might have hopped the fence, got caught, then left the trail I found earlier. The garbage men can even find their way here. All right, shut up, Wolf. So we got fabric. She was not wearing jeans when I was with her. Beast and Beauty were acting a little bit odd, but nobody there.
Good night, Thidian. Nothing else here. All right, let's see if Snow knows anything else. She's just like. What are you doing? Better to be thorough. Sure, just hurry up. We don't have much time. We should move her before anyone shows up. We'll find out more at the business office. She's just like acting She'll like she's books, seen something like this I'm before. Sure. Big P, do you have any idea what's going on? How did this happen? I don't want to say yet. Sorry, Snow. Just not ready to say yet. Fine. Let's just get upstairs. It's not my job to make your anxiety go away, Snow. I'm gonna have to talk to Crane about this. As long as King Cole is gone, he's acting mayor. He needs to know. And he's going to find out anyway, so we may as well get out in front of it. It'll just be worse if he finds out we held it from him. I know you don't like him, but he's our boss. This is just give me our like job. a minute. We should wait until we have more to tell him. Right now, all we know is a girl is dead. Telling Crane doesn't change that, and I've got all the motivation I need to find out who did this. That sounds reasonable, but I don't know. I'll think about it. I just don't want him interfering. It could be. Maybe we are co-workers, Crane's Cappy. not what's important right now. We need to figure out who this girl was so we can find whoever did this. Take this back to Dr. Swinehart. He can take a look at it. I'll meet you at the business office. We ruined that guy's jacket. It wasn't very nice of us. What's up, guys? What are you blind? What, you don't see there's a line? I've been standing here a half hour already. You get to just walk in? Must be nice being the sheriff. Do whatever the fuck you like. Fucker. You are the one bringing this to me, Miss Snow. The one who so simply stumbled upon this catastrophe on our very doorstep. The last thing I need with Mayor Cole away is a hysteria. Do you understand me? Yes, of course I Don't do. Don't interrupt me, Miss Snow. You asked me a question. <laughs> Don't change the subject. You are to blame for this unpleasantness, Miss Snow. I brought you this news as soon as I could. You are trusted to keep things running smoothly around here. This is a disaster. It isn't anyone's fault. Instead of trying to assign blame, maybe we should figure out how to catch the fucker who did this. Oh, is that how you see things? Sheriff, you are the one charged with protecting the citizens of Fable Town. Your failure to do so cost someone their life and the safety of the entire community. Tell me you've been doing something. Are there any leads? Suspects? Anything. Anything at all. I any see. shred of evidence you two know what the hell you're doing. Because right now, I have half a mind to fire the both of you. Yeah, her pimp. Her... was she a... Yeah, she was worried about a money situation. Well, this is just wonderful. Not only is a fable killed, but it was a fable hooker to boot. You two need to get a handle on this situation quickly and quietly. The last thing we need is all of Fable Town knowing there's a killer amongst us. Snow. Yes? Sir? Call Vivian right this minute and let her know I'm coming in early for my massage. I will. But where is the bottle of wine you were to purchase? Don't bother. Forget it. Can't do anything right. Do your job, Sheriff. Or we'll find someone who can. You would have just pissed him off more. All right. Well, that could have gone better. Well, I guess I should have listened to you and waited. Wasn't gonna say I told you so. You don't have to say it. It would have been better to have more to offer. 
get our ducks in a row. I think Crane's the type of person oh, that when he feels Crane out of control, like smoking and he disperses that into Never others mind. through aggression. Smoke away. Wine to a massage? Probably a gift. The weird part of that is that he's actually being nice Night, to Night, Doc. I know I bought that damn bottle. Is... Is he gone? Yes. Is that a Wizard of Oz flying monkey? Buffkin! Hello, Miss Snow. Once I get a gap, Gappy, Drinking I'll... Or, Neo, I'll, I'll repeat. Where did you get that? It was by Mr. Rickabod's desk. Then don't you think it probably belongs to him? Maybe. God, his eyes are creepy. How are you today, Mr. Bigby? <laughs> Try to be a little human it with hasn't him. hasn't been a great morning, Buffkin. Sorry. Eh, not your fault. Thanks for asking, though. Buffkin, get the books. Which books? The ones with all the fables in it. Not sure that was any more specific. Bring the first three. Be back in a few minutes. He knows the ones I'm talking Does about. Does anybody know if I can pause There's the game by hitting escape? Information on her here. Somewhere. Because I don't want to skip cutscenes we'll by at hitting least escape. Be able to get her real name from the books whenever Buff can find them. In the meantime, poke around. Maybe the mirror can help. I really have to get this appointment squared away, but let me know if you need anything. Okay, there we go. Hi. So my... Okay, so... My read on Ichabod is... He is potentially the type of person that when he is in charge... Having duty and responsibility puts pressure on him, which creates anxiety. And then he offloads that, that anxiety onto other people through aggression rather than owning up to the fact that it's difficult for him to not know because when you're in that kind of position you're generally like you need to be in the know and if he's not in the know and people aren't giving him information then all of a sudden he's the one that everybody's going to be looking at for answers if he doesn't have them that makes him anxious and rather than just sitting with that and working with him then he just kind of takes it out on wolf and on snow so my my read on him is not that i don't really think that he's an asshole so much as he's a guy that is probably under a lot of pressure and having a hard time you're louder than the game it's kind of blowing my ears out at times with how close you are to the mic yeah see victoria i'm having a hard time with this i got a new mic today and i'm having a hard time figuring this out i didn't realize i'm that much louder than the game what's up kryptonite so I will, I can turn me down a bit if that's going to be helpful. The game is quiet. <laughs> you guys got to tell me that. Because I can adjust the volume levels. Yeah, so, okay, so I just turned the game volume up and I turned me down a little bit. This is all going to be better on Monday because I'm going to have my, I'm going to get my new Go XLR audio mixer, which is going to make this a whole lot easier. I'm going to be able to do levels a lot better. I'm running into a Scarlet Solo, which is not as sophisticated. So hopefully this is a little bit better. A uh, whole bunch of them, D. I've got a, I got a million settings in here. So I have a whole bunch of audio. Like I have all my. This works basically as my mixer right now, which is not ideal. So. Mr. Hi. Yes, I'm just calling. Is that the genie know. lamp? Mr. Crane's schedule seems to have filled up for the rest of the day, and he's coming in early for his appointment. Yes, that's right. Mm-hmm. 
No, we got your invoice. So there's like no trouble at all. Yes. Interesting. It should be squared away. Well, what do you need the link permit for, D? No. What's up, Ballistics? Hey, sorry I missed your raid last night, Ballistics. You you came in right after I went offline. Yes, I mean, I question it only due to the amount. It seemed a bit excessive. Magic lamps are pretty much just lamps after the genie's been freed. <laughs> yeah, because I saw I saw the notification ballistics. Okay. Thank you. Is this like the magic mirror? Hey, magic mirror. Oh, it is. I got a question. You know the rule. I don't have time for this shit. Your impatience is callow. You're needlessly cruel, but have some respect for our history and rules. <sighs> mirror, mirror. Uh, if you're able, tell me all about this fable. <laughs> See? Was that so hard? <laughs> yeah, I'm about two seconds away from kicking a hole in you. There's no need for that. Fine. Of which fable do you wish to know? Mm. I hope I, I huh. I hope we can do all of them. I am going to do the woodsman, but I hope we can do all of Show them. Show me the woodsman. Where is he? What you see is complete. The woodsman stumbles down a street. No shit. Which street? I'm sorry, Bigby. I can only show you what can be seen. Oh, cool. All right. So I can do all of them. Oh man, playful. That's rough. I appreciate you sharing that. I can imagine that that was really distressing though. I did ask how everybody was doing, so I appreciate you telling me and it's good to see you. All right, let's do Show snow. Me snow White. Not much of a request. She's in this very room. Okay, so the mirror can only show where they are immediately, like right now. Show me Buffkin. Hey, put down the bottle and get to work. <laughs> Still looking. <laughs> I can imagine it is playful. I don't know her name. Not yet, anyway. Well, until you do, I can't help you. Well, Kryptonite, I appreciate you being here, and I appreciate you saying that. Stop by whenever you can. It's okay if you can't be here every time. All right, so the woodsman's at a bar, but we don't know what street. But I saw some, gr like a green Nobody and yellow neon sign, so. Very well, please return should you wish to ask about someone else or someone new. You drunk? Well, I'm sure we'll get it all cleared up. Okay, thank you.
tarot deck? Tarot cards. Jack brought them back from Appalachia. Who knows where they were before that? Or you really just say Appalachia? Together. Strength. I guess it comes in all forms. It's a wolf, like me. Whoa. Yo, I want to zoom in on those. What's up, Rehab? Damn. What the fuck is this supposed to mean? Oh, that just pauses it. Okay. That's good to know, though. those other two that was kind of interesting it's all right playful don't no worries kabod crane oh what book of fables book of symbols we'll start with these any information on fables in our community will be somewhere in these books Hey, woodsman. Hi, buddy. The woodsman? Yep, and his axe. So I feel, my, my initial thoughts are that obviously the woodsman is too obvious. That, that you know, this is part of, this is part of where knowing that this is gonna try to keep us on our toes. Like, you would think that the woodsman is probably who did it, but... The woodsman is... I don't know, it just seems, it just seems too obvious, right? Because he was aggressive, and then he has an axe, and then her head has a clean cut. But Wolf did say magic was possible. And there's me. Another good day. I'm pretty sure that's Damn, look at the dwarves. Me. Yeah. Wars. Less said about that, the better. They're evil looking. Good lord. Beauty in happier days. Hmm. I think her name was Red. She didn't make it out. Ooh. You guys hear that? Did you hear that little little pause there? I wonder if she didn't make it out because of me. And I've been living with guilt for a long time. Beast. Colin and his brothers. I'm guessing Colin didn't have the brick house. I've seen this before. This symbol on the man's clothes, it's the same as the rings. Could be her father or husband. This has most of the emblems of the old days, and usually what family they come from. If it's in here, we'll have her name. So the ring's got the moon. There it is. Oh, great. What? I can't read any of this shit. I can help. Yeah, thanks. We look out for each other. Don't overdo it. This is the one. Where's this symbol from? Which family or story? That's an odd one. Family name? Alelairo? I'll go look it up. Alelairo. Means every kind of fur in German. Donkey skin. Yes. What does it say? <sighs> donkey skin girl, also known as donkey skin, also known as <laughs> ass skin, <laughs> uh, prefers to go by the name Faith. Poetic? Buffkin, we don't need the commentary. The story of donkey skin. 
There was once a great king with a beautiful queen. The queen grew ill and had her husband promise to only marry the most beautiful girl in the kingdom. After a long search, it became clear that the only woman in the land that could match her beauty was... Uh, his daughter, Faith. She had a magic cloak made from the skin of her father's prized donkey that would hide her beauty so she could escape his kingdom. Eventually, she married a prince who could see past the magic cloak and knew her true beauty, and they lived happily ever after. Should I mark it, Miss Snow? Yes. Please. And what's her husband's name? Lawrence. Prince Lawrence. We got what we came for. Yeah. Her name's Faith. She was married to Prince Lawrence. I mean, that's more than her we... name was Faith. Yeah. We should talk to the husband. You think he did it? No, I don't. But we need to let him know about his wife. I wish I could read that again. I want to read that like one more time. Mirror, mirror, blah, blah, Abel, blah, blah, blah about this fable. Of which fable do you wish to know? He's a prince, I think. Show me Prince Lawrence. What's he been doing? Is that where he is right where now? Where is this? Where's what? Do you know where Prince Lawrence lives? If he's a prince, probably relocated in the South Bronx. Yellow building, red window shutters. Red frames. Yep, that's the one. I can take us there. It didn't look like a live shot, though. It looked like a picture. Show me... Show me faith. Through powerful magic, her whereabouts concealed. Unfortunately for you, these lips are sealed. What? These lips are, you are sealed. It's not my choice of phrasing, Rigby. It's simply the way this has to be. Show me Faith's father, the old king. Who has his ring on? Guess that crosses him off the suspect list. That is correct, playful. That's a big old complicated question, Titan. Nobody right now. Anything we can use? Yeah, that'll have to do for now. Come on, we're going over there. Sorry, I have to get that. Hello, Woodland's business office. Yes, I... He is. Hold on. Bigby. It's for you. Big B, it's me, Toad. You there? What do you want? Big B, shit. Listen, right? There's a bloke upstairs going through all the woodsman's things. Get over here, Big B, before he. Oh, wait, hang on. Boy, shit. Hey! What was that about? Hard to say. Something going on over at Toad's place. What about Faith's husband? I don't know. I couldn't really tell. But he could be in trouble. And we should go there anyway to search her apartment. Toad might have to wait. Whenever you're ready. 
Okay, so we got to figure out whether I'm going to... I'm guessing it's probably going to make me choose whether I want to go to Toad's or to the apartment. The apartment looked pretty static. And the... Uh, apartment, like, it doesn't seem like there's urgency there. It seems like there's some urgency with Toad. If there's a person going through the woodsman's apartment, that seems... Although I don't know that that's connected or not. Oh man, Prodigy, how you feeling about that? Um, this is the wolf among us, Titan. And honestly, I don't really have a simple answer for what you asked right now. You should ask me that again next time I'm streaming because my, my brain's kind of more in the headspace for the game right now. <laughs> I just wonder, like, why? Who the hell is Toad? I don't understand if Toad is, like, a landlord or if he owns a hotel or what his deal is. Hmm. Something tells me to go to Toad's, though. Because... It just I don't I don't feel a sense of urgency around the other ones. A little more I don't know I'm, I'm usually I tend to be more about immediacy, so, and I'm I'm good playful. I'm just think I'm like I'm thinking through the story and kind of my decisions with it and this game kind of has a bit of a subdued tone so I don't know if I'm just leeching some of that but no I'm good. I have not tightened, but I'm familiar with it. <laughs> I can appreciate that, Canuck. Great summer. I grew up a lot as a person, learned a lot about myself and people around me. Well, that's great. You get to go back to college with that new knowledge. That's some good stuff, Prodigy. All right, well, let's see if it gives me the option. I'm guessing it's going to. Did Toad say who was there? Was it the woodsman? I don't know. It's possible. Whoever it was, it didn't seem like Toad was happy to see him. Well, maybe Prince Lawrence can wait. Yeah, he didn't see him. He could use some help, too. Do we split up? Well, where to first? Yeah, see, of course. Big, big shit. Listen, right? There's a bloke upstairs going through all the woodsman's things. You think he did it? What's her husband's name? Lawrence. Prince Lawrence. My hunch is to go to Toad's. Big, big. It's me, Toad. Big, big. We're going to go Toad there. Toad sounds like he needs help right now. We can check in on Prince Lawrence after. Okay. I'm not looking forward to breaking the news to him anyway. Maybe the person going through the things is Prince Lawrence. The woodsman's apartment. And South we Bronx. ended up going out the window and I landed on Toad's car. You guys made a real mess. Yeah. It looks worse in a day. Boy, we sure didn't haul ass to get there, though. Up there? Hey! Wait here. Oh, shit. I shouldn't have said anything. I should have been quiet. I gave that guy a heads up that we're coming in there. God damn it. That was so stupid. That was so stupid. Shit. Not happy with that. Not happy with that at all. I'm sorry. That's enough, all right? Just shut it. <laughs> no, I ain't reloading. I got to live with my decision. 
Is that his son? Toads, I think. Be nice in there, okay? Hey, Toad, you in there? <laughs> Big B and Miss White. Surely you didn't come all this way just for my bother. Sorry, Big V. It's embarrassing to have to admit, but uh, I thought it was someone else in Woody's place. There wasn't, though. Uh, not when I checked. <laughs> Nothing but a leaky train pipe. Imagination must have got the best of me. So, you know, false alarm. Sorry for dragging Miss White into this, but thanks for coming. Much appreciated. Are you all right? He's fine, Miss White. Just stung his little toe. Better swimmer than Walker, just like his dad. Wanna? So, I guess you'll be taking off now. No need to hang around here anymore. I mean, I'm sorry you came all the way here for nothing. But it was nothing, really. I'll leave when I'm ready, Toad. I just want to check things out first. The longer you talk, the longer this takes. So just stand over there and shut all up. All right, all right. I just don't want to waste your time, is all. Yeah. Uh, have a seat. Have a cup of tea. Whatever you like. Whew. Grown-ups. Am I right? Uh... Hey, you know what? Flycatcher said you had a pretty oh, awesome let him finish that collection. thought. I'd really love to see it. Is it in your room? It has a weevil. Cool. Just mind the upholstery while you're looking for nothing. Yeah, sure thing. I think that the person that was in that room may have actually been Toad because the guy that was in the room was wearing the same hat. At least from what I remember, for like the two seconds I saw what he looked like, it looked like he might have been wearing something similar and same colors. So I wonder if Toad went and got that glamour or whatever to look like a human and was up there and then turned that off and then went downstairs as a cover-up. And yes, Titan, that video is hilarious. And this game has choices. I don't know that I'd call it psychological yet, but... Hey, Tally. Good to see you. Good morning. Sorry that I missed you when you said it earlier. But why the phone call? I'm not entirely sure, Coder. But he something's a little bit funk something's funky. You see you see him tapping his foot? Right here? What's up, Tavarian? How'd this happen? Fucking hell. Damn thing must have fell off the table. Uh-huh. The lamp just fell off the table. All the boy was faffing about, playing salts and salt fish. Who knows with the lad? There's something else plugged in there. Two things plugged in, one of which is the clock, and then that other one runs through the other wall. He's also watching me. Hmm. What happened here? 
A polka? What of it? There's fresh blood on the tip. I could smell it from the door. Oh, I was... I was poking the coals and it slipped a bit. Sliced up in my foot like a seashell. Looked like a shit ugly thing. Sounds painful. Oi! Don't you go mavering now. The wound didn't sit very long, you know. Hooks have been a babel, I suppose. <laughs> and a frog. Could be, Coder. That's an interesting thought. Ooh, the nice Monaco Grand Prix poster. I like that. Toad's a Formula One fan. Look, there's more blood on the wall. What the hell? Ooh, look at those eyes. Look at that shifty, yes. I've really been meaning to clean the place. There's more blood over here. Oh? Really? Yeah, still fresh. Well, like I told you, I cut me hand. Ran around like a tit trying to pick out a rat. Must have got some on the furnishments. If you're gonna say something, out with it. Wait, you cut your hand? You told me before that you cut your foot. Yeah, no, I, I did cut my hand. I cut my hand first, and that made me drop the damn thing on my foot. <laughs> uh, ruinous flip of events, really. Ah, oh, man, I want to, I want to like mention his demeanor. I just want to point it out and bring it into the present, because then he'd start to get shifty. Oh my God, will you not make a big faff out of this? There's nothing to solve here, Sheriff. I'm telling you everything that happened. Why don't you believe me? You're making yourself quite suspicious. I mean, things happen, you know. No crime in a little accident. Stay quiet here for I'm a second. I'm not bullshitting Let him you. just talk his way Honest. into the problem. Question him later. That more blood? No. Just a clean space in the dust. Did you move something? Ah, uh, maybe one of Junior's toys or something? I mean, who knows? Something he unplugged and then plugged into the other room. That's where the... Oh, that's where the lamp was. Bloody hell, Bigby. What sinister bit have you uncovered this time? I left the tap water running? Didn't stop the recycling? What's the point of all this, mate? Really? That broken lamp Starting used to, to get be agitated. Here, right? Just tell me what happened. Nothing happened, mate. Nothing! And yep. why did the lamp have to be there? Of all the blooming pointless inquiries. It's my own place. Don't you think I'll know what happens in it? Marks on the window. There's some marks here on the window sill. Let's see what happens. But like I said, Junior leaves his toys around all the time. These don't look like they're from a toy. Oh, well, just last night when I'd come out, I was in a, a downright dizzy, mate, as you would be. <laughs> and I plum forgot the keys to this place. And I had to climb in through the bloody window. Really? Scared Junior off to death. Those marks are from the inside, not the outside. So. And also, those aren't like toad prints. Place needs a bit of dusting, I suppose.
I don't know that I like any of these options. Because basically, if I say come clean versus I know you're lying, I'm saying the same thing. Which the undertone of that is you're lying. He's already very clearly pivoted himself into his story. And just because I know he's lying doesn't mean he's going to come clean if I call him out for it. I certainly don't want him to shut down. I'm trying to figure out how I can get underneath the surface so that it feels to him like it's in his best interest to tell me. And I don't know that being aggressive is what's going to do it. Let's see if I can talk to Snow. Though most people think they are. Uh-huh. How's it going? Toad's hiding something, but I don't know what yet. Did the kid say anything? No, nothing really. He was really upset, though, earlier. He won't say why. Hmm. Something's going on. Stay with the kid until I figure out why. I tried to be nice with Toad before. Oh, busted latch. Your lock's busted. Huh? The lock. It looks like somebody kicked in the door. Maybe it up. Oh, for Christ's sake, the fucking lock's been busted for weeks, mate. Right, it's just like everything else in this bloody building. Hmm. Why'd you climb in through the window then? Huh? Why'd you climb in through the window? You said it yourself. The lock's been rotten for weeks. You wouldn't have needed a key to get in. Fucking hell. Just what are you on about, mate? After the state I was in, I didn't have me head. That's all it was. I forgot the fucking handle was fucking busted. And I'll tell you what else. It's embarrassing. You're bringing all this shit up, all right? So quit yeah, it with a third a degree and all that. Big B, come on. I'm begging for mercy over here, old boy. I was looking forward to a nice afternoon. Just me and me son, and you've taken up enough of a day with all this... the sniffing around at me private belongings. I'm sorry I called. Really, I am. But will you please, please just bugger off? Not yet. Not yet? You stay here to accuse me of heaven knows. And for what, Big B? You've seen the whole room. Nothing's happened. So when? When are you gonna leave? I mean, I feel like I'm on trial here. In my own bloody home. It's not seemly. Keep talking. Toad, these stories have made no sense. You didn't cut yourself on the poker. You didn't bump the lamp off the table. You want to tell me what's going on? She doesn't think much of me. I don't think. Oh, I wouldn't necessarily say that. Progress? Terrible timing. Who the blood Mr. what? Toad, you're bleeding. Take off the hat. Oh <gasps> it was that butcher, a, a tweedle, Dame D. You gotta strip them down to their johnnies before you can tell which is which. They come bulging in, screaming about something a woodsman had. Or thought he had, I don't know. He tore up the place, beat me up when I said I didn't have it. I tried to go out the window, but he pulled me back in. <sighs> it's been a whole morning, I could tell you that. What did you tell him? Nothing. There's nothing he wanted to know, except if I had this thing that he wanted. I would have told you. I wanted to, really, I did. But he said if word of this ever got back to him, if he ever thought you knew, well, Miss White, he'd come back and kill my boy. I even tried to give a blouse to the coat. He wouldn't take it. Whose coat? The girl. Dad borrows things from people who live here. Uh, sometimes. Borrows? I don't <laughs> steal nothing. Turn around here would astonish you, mate. Well, merely repossess what's been left behind. Well, we'll be taking the coat now. If she has next of kin, family, anyone. All right. Fetch him the fur. Fine bit of dress it is. Whoa. 
What? No, I wouldn't wear it outside. Wait. The donkey. Oh my god, yeah. I meant mutt. What in terms of like that's really gross. Holy shit. It's an envelope. Fucking hell, of course there is. And for my luck, it's a map to some bloody doubloons. It's addressed to Prince Lawrence. Do you want to try and give it to him or? Don't make it a dilemma. Just open it. Let's just keep it for now. Okay. Well, it's been quite a surprising day for all of us, hasn't it? Hey, I'm gonna hold on to it. I don't want Toe to know. But I'm afraid of dripping I don't trust any him. more blood in the place. It was very nice talking to you, TJ. Thanks. I see what uh, you did there, Canuck. See ya. Does it always go that smoothly? Not often. So, the prince is now? Lawrence is, yeah. It's our best lead. Our only lead, really. When you put it that way. 